Hi, I'm Steve Watkins, editor of Federal Times. It's a real honor for Federal Times to be a sponsor of this year's Public Service Recognition Week. Public Service Recognition Week was created in 1985 by the Public Employees Roundtable and its member organizations to bring attention and recognition to all public servants at all levels of government, including the 2.1 million federal employees. One activity occurring this year for Public Service Recognition Week is a new video series appearing on YouTube called Why I Serve, in which federal employees discuss what motivated them to become federal employees and why they still serve. You can find the videos at youtube.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R, forward slash P-E roundtable. We've already got some great videos on there and I'm looking forward to seeing many more. Since we published our first newspaper in 1965, 48 years ago, Federal Times has always been joined at the hip with federal employees. We have always enjoyed and relied on a special kinship with federal employees. In my tenure of 14 years at Federal Times, I've met with and talked to thousands of federal employees. What always impresses me is how extremely dedicated they are to their jobs, to their missions, and to their country. And they really get jazzed up over their work whether it's investigating crimes, responding to national disasters, putting out forest fires, taking care of our veterans, or safeguarding our national parks. And when I talk to federal employees, I always detect a sense of pride that they are working for something far greater than themselves. For as long as I've been editor and many years before that, Federal Times has always viewed Public Service Recognition Week as a special occasion. Every year we get many letters sent in from feds, cabinet level secretaries all the way down to GS5s telling us how proud they are to be federal employees and of the work they do and of all the talented people they work with. And I find that very gratifying because I know federal work is often very demanding and challenging. And more often than not, it goes unrecognized. Oftentimes the work that feds do can be hard to explain to people. It can be specialized or esoteric. Often the, the work may not seem significant on its face, but when it's combined with the work of dozens or thousands of other federal employees, it can emerge as a very significant accomplishment, such as a new Navy ship, or a way to combat a new disease, or a way to reduce waste, fraud, and abuse. So participating in PSRW is a way for Federal Times to help spread the news about the work that our unheralded federal employees are doing. Unfortunately, too many Americans don't know what they're doing, and they should, because after all, they're paying for that work. I would say two things. Federal employees are us. They're American citizens, just like the rest of us. Second, we need to learn more about what federal employees do, and how they help our country, and how they help us as citizens. This November marks the 150th anniversary of President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, in which he coined the famous phrase, government of the people, by the people, and for the people. We do certainly have a government of the people. Federal employees are your neighbors, your relatives, and they do important work for us. And they know that they work for you. But until our citizens and lawmakers know and appreciate better all the things that federal employees do, it will be increasingly hard to maintain a federal workforce comprised of this country's best talent. So let's recognize all the public servants for the great work that they do, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the federal employees, whether you're wearing military or civilian clothes, for all the great years of service that you've given us. Thank you.